Another thing I hope can help you guys to keep learning about falconry until I'm completely back is the fact that I've posted new articles on my falconry blog. Some of you requested a video about where to buy falconry equipment. I will definitely make a video about that in a few days, but on my blog I now have a new article where I discuss everything you need to keep an owl and where to buy affordable equipment or even make the equipment yourself. I will leave the link to my blog in the description box of this video so you can check it out. Now let's get into the actual topic of this video. First of all, what are anklets? Anklets are basically two leather straps with two holes in them that you place around your bird's feet. To secure the anklets you use grommets and usually a grommet plier. Through the holes of the anklets you put the jesses which are then connected with a swivel and a long lace. I chose not to take my own owl Lucky as an example for this video because putting on anklets is not something owls enjoy and I don't want to put unnecessary stress on her. In this video I'll show you two examples of people putting anklets on their birds. The fragment you're seeing now is the most correct way to do it. I do want to mention that the guy could have been more gentle with the bird if he hadn't been alone. When I have to put anklets on Luki I always go to my mentor so that one of us can hold Luki wrapped in a towel and the other one can put on the anklets as fast as possible. So you can see in the video fragment that the guy wraps his hawk in a towel which is really good. It prevents the bird from being able to move and hurt itself or the owner. Obviously he has to cut off the old anklets first. He puts on the new anklet and do you see the two holes I was talking about? That's where the grommets are going to fit in. Now this guy doesn't use a grommet plier but a set of punches or stamps or something like that. I'm sorry but I don't know the exact term for this in English. There's nothing wrong with what he's doing but I prefer to use a grommet plier because I believe it's less stressful and more gentle for the bird. He then puts the jesses in. I don't know if you guys are noticing this but the guy puts in the jesses from the outside to the inside. It's very important to do it this way and not the other way around because otherwise your bird will break its legs whenever it tries to fly off of the perch or glove. It's kind of hard to see in this video but I'll show you another video fragment of a barn owl being outfitted with anklets and in that video you'll see very clearly what I mean. He then connects the jesses to the swivel and also puts a beige long lace through the swivel. Let's look at another video fragment. To be honest I'm not a fan of doing things this way because if you don't wrap the owl in a towel it will try to fight you. By that I don't mean that it will try to bite you because it thinks you're mean but owls just don't like their legs and feet being touched. This is why it's super important to touch and caress your owlet's legs, feet and talons when you're raising and imprinting it. 
This will avoid your owl from truly becoming aggressive when you need to touch its legs later in life. But just note that birds of prey in general will always try to get away when you try to put anklets on or basically do anything to their feet. You can see here that the owl is trying to pull its leg away and I don't like seeing this. I'm pretty sure the owl is fine and I'm not saying these people are bad. They're probably very good owl owners, but it's just my personal opinion that it would have been better for the owl's legs if they had wrapped it in a towel. What I do like about this video is that it clearly shows the owner putting in the jesses the right way, from the outside to the inside. See, there we go again, from the outside to the inside. Ok, I hope this video helped you out. If you want to learn more, please keep an eye on my blog. I know I haven't posted much articles in the past, but from now on I plan to at least post one article a week. Some of them will contain very detailed information about how to care for your owl, other articles will provide you with more information about birds of prey in general. If you want me to write a specific article, I will be more than glad to do so for you. Please post your suggestions in the comment section down below. A lot of you also requested the link to the owl molds I used to make owl chocolates and I've been able to find the same one I have online. I'll post that link in the description box as well and I've accidentally also found really cool owl muffin molds which I will link down below as well. There will be a delicious vanilla, chocolate and macchiato owl muffin recipe video appearing on this channel soon. I love you guys and I'll see you in a few days.